After you log on to Teams, you will see a number of buttons at the bottom of the screen to help navigate quickly to different areas within Teams. You can stay on top of things by clicking the activity button. The feed shows all of your notifications and everything that's happened lately in the channels that you follow. You can use the filter to organise your notification feed. If we click on the Teams button, you can see all of the teams that you are a member of. A team is a collection of conversations, files and tools, all in one place, just like a virtual classroom. If you click on a team and select it, you can pick a channel to explore the conversation, files and other tabs within it. A channel is a dedicated discussion within a team. Let's explore the test class team. Within test class, there are two different channels, the general channel and the playground chat channel. The playground chat is a space for pupils to socialise and check in with their class teacher. This channel is moderated by every class teacher. Let's explore the general channel. The general channel holds files, conversations and tools which are important to your class. You can turn notifications for this channel on and off. At the top, you can see a number of different tabs. In posts, the channel conversations are organised by date. You can reply to a conversation by selecting reply. Here your message will be attached to a specific conversation. You can also start a new conversation by selecting New Post. This way you can compose a new message, type and format it here, add a file, emoji, gif or sticker to liven it up. You can even mention someone to get their attention by typing at and then the person's name, channel or team in your message. You can also share a file or an image by clicking the paper clip or the photo icon. Click attach, then select the file location and then the file you want. Work with files by clicking the Files tab at the top of the channel. Here you can see all the files shared in your team or channel. If you click on More Options using the arrow or ellipsis next to a file or folder, you can see what you can do with it. Teachers may add additional tabs to a channel. Let's explore these by clicking on More. Here you can see a number of additional tabs. For example, Class Notebook, your own personal digital notebook where you can capture and record your work, just like a jotter in class. Assignments and Grades. Class teachers can even add additional tabs such as websites, which may be helpful. In the Assignment tab, this is where you can access remote learning instructions and resources that have been issued by class teachers. This is also where you can hand in your classwork. In the Grade tab, you can view assignments that have been marked by your class teacher and read any feedback that they have given. Let's explore Assignments. 
Here you can see all the assignments that have been set by your class teacher. Click on an assignment to find more information. Here you will see the title, the due date, instructions and reference materials that have been issued by your class teacher. At the bottom of the page you will notice the immersive reader icon. This is a free tool from Microsoft Office that uses proven techniques to improve reading for people regardless one, of their money. age or ability. Due the 25th of May 2020 59. Closes the 25th of May 2020 59. Instructions. Convert pence and pounds. Improving accessibility. Immersive Reader can improve reading comprehension and increase fluency for English language learners. This tool can be personalised to suit your individual needs. You can click to select and view reference material. The materials which your teacher shares come in different forms. This could be a link to a website, a video resource, a Word document or a PDF, for example. They can be viewed on screen through the Teams app, but you will also notice that there is an option to take action. For example, at the bottom of your screen, you will see the icon, which allows you to share print or download in order to edit and save your work on your digital device. You will also see on the page under the reference materials is a section where you can add your own work. After you have completed your work, whether it is on a piece of paper or practically, or if you have edited and saved a piece of work to your digital device, you can select add work and then select the type of file and location. Then once it is added, select hand in at the top of the screen. This will submit your work to your class teacher for review. In this example, you can see in the My Work section that an optional digital notebook page has been added. Clicking on this will take you to your own individual personal notebook just like your own jotter in class. This is a place for you to capture and record your work. Clicking on this will take you to your class notebook if you have the OneNote app installed on your device. Let's look at the options you have to complete work on your digital device. If I select the Literacy Challenge to view, I then have the option to take action at the bottom of the screen in order to print, share or download the work in order to edit it. If I click on the compose icon at the top of the screen in order to edit, you can see that I can access this on my digital device through the Office app. These can all be accessed with your Glow logon. If I click on the edit icon, there are lots of options that allow me to edit this page.
Once you have completed your work, you can use the menu to save a copy of your work to print it and then use this to hand in your assignment. You can also download a PDF to your mobile or tablet device, edit this and then hand in as a completed assignment. You can use the draw tool to edit your work and then use the action button at the bottom of the screen to save a copy and then hand in by uploading to an assignment.